This might be the most important project that I've done since I'm a maker, because this is actually having a direct effect to my brain. Let me explain. So we are in lockdown. I go from like, you know, high productivity, intense, you know, work every day here with company, you know, solving problems and stuff to nothing. I wake up in the morning and I have nothing to do, right? That caused me something that I didn't know would be possible, which is no motivation to do anything. Like what I was doing for the better part of the first two weeks was just going from bed to, you know, to the, to the couch and eat, go back to the couch, sleep 50 times a day. It was pretty bad. Like I didn't know what to do with myself. Then by chance, I discovered this app that is called uh, Swift Playground, which is a programming language to develop apps and stuff like that. And it does it in a very fun way because you make like games. It's very engaging. I absolutely recommend it. But then I, that gave me uh, the need to start again learning Arduino and then Python as well. But those are like very uh, overwhelming things that when you look at it while you know basically nothing about it, it is so huge. It is so frustrating to, to see how much you have to learn, that it's a lot easier to just don't do it. So basically, uh, you, you don't start learning because you won't make progress enough to make you excited. At least that's what happens to me. But then I thought, what if I just do 100 seconds of that a day? Like 100 seconds, it's something that you have no excuse. Like whatever you do, you, you can lie enough to, to say that you don't have time to do this, this and that. Bullshit. Because let's say you have 100 seconds a day. Every, we all have it. And then if you think about just 100 seconds, maybe you're going to do that for a lot longer. But that day, if you only think about doing 100 seconds, it's not going to be scary and you're going to do it. So what I made here, it's basically, it's all the things distilled in one product that I learned while in uh, quarantining. And it is basically a timer. You can set four, uh, four different times, like no excuses, it's 100 seconds. Then it's step up, it's three minutes. Engaged is, I think, five minutes, I can change it. Hardcore is 10 minutes. So I set this one on no excuses. I press start. Now, this is like just for the video, it's gonna be 16 seconds. But when I press start, this is the time that I have to do whatever I wanna do which might be just reading a book or play guitar, play the piano, whatever. One of those things that normally it looks super overwhelming and difficult and it's just easier to say, I'm not gonna do it. So this is not more than a timer, but it is in hardware form, something that you can touch is there. So you are gonna do it because it's almost like the brain is more engaged if you have more sense connected. Let's say if you watch a movie and it has crappy sound, the movie is going to suck. The same if you do things, uh, I don't know, you go for a hike. The fact that also the smell is awesome, the, the view, what you see, it's nice and all the rest is nice. The more sense you have, the more engaged you are. The fact that this is not just a promise I make to myself, but it's an actual tangible product that it's going to sit on my desk looking at me. If I put my goal to learn Arduino or whatever it's going to be, and this is on my desk and I just have to do start and do it for 100 seconds, something, I'm going to do it. And that made me super productive, super motivated while even at home in, you know, in lockdown. And I'm super happy about this. And I think you can do a version of this if you follow this theory. You can do a version of this with whatever you want. You can do even just software or even if you make or you buy a, what's called a glass clock. I don't remember the name of that, but this thing just makes something that it has like a fixed time and you know you're going to do that every day. So you won't have excuses to do whatever you want to do. I think you got the point. Now the fun part, which is me making this and it was actually a lot of fun making it because there's woodworking, uh, welding, metalworking, electronic, uh, it's a lot of stuff just in one product and I'm 
super proud of this. I hope you enjoy the build and uh, thank you for watching. What you saw me doing so far, it was yesterday. And I'm pretty happy of the result. At a certain point, it was like super shiny. Then I decided to change the belt and uh, I kind of messed it up. But I am uh, lying to myself and thinking that this actually looks better because it's like a little more futuristic. It actually does. You can see like the lines here maybe. They were not there and then I decided to like try a new belt but it's fine. Also because if it was too shiny, probably the laser would see it as a mirror and maybe it didn't work. I don't know actually. But now what I'm gonna do is like laser this side so I made the pilot sign to then go downstairs to the milling machine and do the holes for the LEDs and the bottoms and stuff. I didn't do the uh, Arduino yet, but I know what component I'm gonna use so I know the measurements and stuff. Uh, what about music and you see what I'm doing now?
I decided what hardware I want to go with for this project. For the switches, I want to use these little metal ones. They look great together. And for the knob, probably this one. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see. It's funny, David and I, when we were in China, uh, our free time was like going around and buy pneumatic things and switches. Like even if like we started the day, like Sunday or something, like, okay, today we're just gonna buy um, tools or something. We ended up buying just switches and new <laughs> things. But the good thing is that I have a large selection to choose from in these cases. Okay, now it's time to go with the actual components and the Arduino, which I'm gonna use the Nano. Program it. This project is actually what I used to learn all the Arduino stuff. So I did the same thing like 100 times in different configuration with different sensors and um, components. So now I, I know that I'm gonna use the NeoPixels, not this ones, I'm gonna use other ones, but uh, the NeoPixels are gonna be here. I'm gonna use the Nano, the knob and stuff, but I already validated the idea, like this actually worked. So super excited. Let's put it together. It works. Uh, I had a lot of fun because I programmed the LED to fade from blue to green when it's completing the bar, which is um, pretty sweet. Also, there's this little effect when it switches on or resets. There's that thing. That, that, that was fun. Um, so it works. Now it's time to put it together. So I will have to solder all the stuff because I'm not going to put the breadboard in. And then I will make a base that I think I'm going to made out of wood, but let's do this first. At this point, I have no idea if this is gonna work because I was like taking stuff off the uh, breadboard to attach it there and then I kind of lost track of what I was doing. So it's a good time to test it and see what I did wrong at this point. I only need power, right? Yes. Let's see. Ooh, only three. That means that something is wrong there. But let's see if I do start. Okay, three works. It means, oh, also I think the potentiometer was the opposite side because now it's taking too long. Well, I just need to switch this too. But this is working, so it's fine. I just need to see if there's continuity here and here. I, maybe there's something wrong there. Okay, let me fix it. I know it, well, let me, let me do the reset if it works. 
Okay, so the bottom, uh, the switches work. Everything is connected almost right. The potentiometer is the opposite. Let me see if, if I do it the other way, if it works. Yes, so now it's going fast. Okay, so I need to switch that and see what's going on here. But I think I could just do that off camera and then I'll do the base. So now you'll see me doing the base. Thank you.